My name is Dr. Michael Chide Bellary, I'm the director of Federal Polytechnic. Yes, thank you very much. My, my drive has been the desire to make impact, the desire to make a difference, the desire to take the institution to higher level, the desire to make sure that I leave footprints on the sense of time, and the desire to ensure that both staff and students um, experience the benefits from my coming as the chief executive. These things have um, been the, the propelling force uh, enabling me to take decisions that will turn the institution around. Definitely. Anybody, I graduated from here myself and I have worked in companies um, where we have German engineers, American engineers, engineers from the UK. And believe me, I didn't feel inferior among them. So anybody graduating from this place is equipped, uh, especially with the level of infrastructure and equipment that we are providing through the assistance of TED Fund and other sources. Uh, our students are ready to go. They are, they are available for employment and I'm sure that they will make us proud. In fact, they have been making us proud. Our students have been making us proud wherever uh, wherever they find themselves, whether from engineering or from accounting or from banking and finance or from architecture or from any part of uh, the institution. Our students are among the best. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing that is, um, that is changing the status quo, there is bound to be some challenges. So I think it is the the challenges are not basically that of opposition, but that of um, more of that of lack of understanding of the direction that we are going. But I, I know that when we started in 2018, it was more difficult. But right now, a lot of people are understanding the direction we are going and uh, they are beginning to key in. Uh, definitely, I, I, from the very beginning, I drew up a roadmap. I drew up what I wanted to do. I told the, I told the members of management and even the governing council when I attended the interview that my intention was to create visibility, not just for myself but for the institution and for even staff of the institution to make the institution more visible. And we have largely achieved that. The institution is known not just in Nigeria but even across the world. We have. We have intervention, and we have linkages with um, uh, organizations in Canada, in, in Togo, uh, in other parts of uh, the world, and then in Nigeria as well. We have linkages with ICANN, with CIBN, with uh, IFAD, with IITA, with Innocent Motors. There are so many linkages that we have. So we have created visibility. Uh, we are available online. People can read about us online. And that has helped us a lot. Uh, I made that very clear from the beginning that that was the direction to go. And uh, I'm happy that we are making success. <music> Definitely, um, the challenges that we have are that of funding. Um, the ideas that we have Believe me, we have so many ideas that are yet to be implemented uh, because largely, largely due to lack of funds. So if government will make available more money, maybe through third fund or through direct uh, intervention, I'm sure that we'll be able to do a lot more. Many of the things we invented, uh, like the electric car and some other things that we invented, the drones that we have uh, been able to produce, uh, we are possible because debt funds sponsor them. And if government to make available more money, we can achieve a lot more. Yes, academic staff union. I think that the biggest problem with the issue of strikes among unions 
is that they reach a agreement with the federal government and at a point of implementation that agreement is not done that is that is the biggest problem whether you whether it is asu academic staff union or polytechnics or asu that of the university or nasu or sani whichever one it is a lot of times agreements are signed 2009 agreement 2010 agreement 2015 agreement and by 2022 it hasn't been done and uh, such things you know, create this harmony. And I, I think I will I really advise if it's possible for the federal government to enter into agreements that it intends to keep. Yes, we are very peaceful, peaceful students, peaceful staff, peaceful management, peaceful governing council. The reason is simple, we are focused. When you are when you have a lot on your table, when you have a lot on your plates, you are not distracted. A lot of times people are distracted because they don't have much to do. We have a lot of things to do. In fact, we every time I give my staff assignment, I tell them they say sometimes they ask me, when do you want this thing to be done? I will say jokingly, I will say yesterday. I want it already done. Even though I'm giving it to you now, I wish we did it yesterday. So it gives the staff the understanding that there is no time to waste. So and when you are when you are saddled with such responsibility that needs immediate attention, you will not be distracted. So that this is this is driving force for us. I am Dr. Chris Enya, Polytechnic Librarian, Federal Polytechnic Naked. Uh, like my colleagues said, like the director also said, the achievements are standing. Uh, we may not mention all of them within the last four years, even though, as you may have heard, COVID took part of the, the period of almost four years. A lot of things have been done. You mentioned linkages. Uh, we have linkage also with uh, uh, Nigerian Society of Engineers. We have linkage with the uh, West African Fisheries Association, who are producing uh, top quality fishes through that linkage. Uh, there are many other things that have been done, building set up, and uh, lecturers now have uh, comfortable offices. So if you move around the campus, you'll find new buildings, you'll find a uh, good reading environment. If you also move around the compound currently, you'll find that the company is installing a network system so that uh, our access to the net will be easier for lecturers and for our students. I will believe it's a project that will be sustained for the next 50 years. And this is an era of technology. So he's having the mind of Federal Polytechnic Nekede in a futuristic balance. So in the next 50 years, going to 100 years, you will find this institution ranking among the best polytechnics in Africa. Right now, we rank favorably in Nigeria. And uh, by the time we finish with the network system, uh, ranking will go up. Currently, we are ranked outside Nigeria, and we believe we will improve in ranking. There will be more structures in place, and then uh, that will be for the institution for the better. I believe that when he leaves office, after some time, he will have cause to reflect on his activities, and uh, uh, the future will be kind to him. <laughs>